Hello everyone and welcome to the Ranch of Rivershine. This game has just come out for demo on Steam and it is completely free for everyone if you have a Windows computer. And I have been watching along the development of this game for like literally months and months and months at this point. Like I actually was shocked when I found out that it was released. I've been waiting for so many horse games that I feel like they're just never gonna come for some reason. Like in my mind, I'm like, There's, people never make horse games. There's just never horse games available. So I'm really excited to check this out. I've, I, as I've said, I have been watching all of like the YouTube videos that the developer has released on this game and they have just looked so epic. I've been so excited about this, but I haven't actually watched anyone play the demo. Uh, this is all about the Ranger Rivershine demo. So you can pause and read this or go to Steam. I'm not gonna read it all, but I am gonna, this is what we can see in the demo. It's gonna be the first in-game season. So it's going to be about three to five hours to complete. But if you play a bit longer, it's about 10 to 15 hours. So we'll see how we go today. I'm not gonna make this video three to five hours long. We'll see where we get to. They've included the world map, the horse caring, the horse training, riding arenas, cross country competitions, auctioning horses, villager shops, and farming, which is honestly already kind of like so much I feel for a demo. I'm really excited to check out like the farming system because I feel like I really like farming games and when they're incorporated with horse games, like if farming simulator, it simulator had actual like proper detailed red dead redemption 2 horses bro that would be my perfect game no i don't know there's like i play so many different horse games for so many different reasons by the way i'm sorry if i'm a little bit crazy or i sound tired i am tired but if i cannot have a nap right now because if i nap now even for like 25 minutes i'm not gonna be able to fall asleep i feel like i've been filming for like literally ages and oh my gosh that loaded so quickly i've been talking so much and i feel like i haven't gotten anything done okay thank you for playing the Ranger of Riverside demo. I feel like I need to adjust the settings a little bit. Um, is you on the biggest game quality, best screen size? I think this is what I have to do. Yeah. Okay. Does that automatically apply? Why? Maybe the settings are automatically applied. I don't know. Oh, that's better. I made it full screen instead. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay. Controls. We'll probably learn about that. Let's just click play game. Ooh, so there's three different games here. I think I'm kind of nervous to play. This is a demo though, so do not judge this too harshly. But I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Here we have our creator character. How do I turn you around okay i guess there's no mouse controls to turn you around that's okay we've got some body types there's just two body types and there's some skin colors here okay i think i will go for like probably that one yeah let's see eye color it zooms in super cool let's see okay i guess there's not too many eye colors which ones again there's there's enough there. I think I'm just gonna go blue as always. Oh, there's a bunch of different eyebrow shapes. This is kind of fun. I could spend forever. I kind of like these ones. I wish this was numbered so I could see when I get back to the beginning because there is like, oh, I think, was this the one we started with? Because that's the one I want to go with. Okay. Oh, this is really pretty. I like have really long hair and I feel like I wouldn't suit short hair actually, but you know, if I, if I, if I did suit. I actually don't think, yeah, there actually isn't a super long hair in this game. Like, oops, that's hair color. This would be longer because obviously it's curled and in a ponytail. But my hair's not quite that curly. A little bit wavy. I think I'm going to go with this because this is like really pretty. Okay. And let's find the black hair color. Hopefully it's like actually black. She says as it isn't. I think this is technically the black one. It's a little bit bluish purplish for me. But you know what? I'll take what I'm dealt. It's fine. Okay. Oh, shirt colors. Ooh. Okay. So there's only a few shirt colors, which once again, demo version, kind of fun. And pants. We've also, oh, that's kind of nice. I kind of like this. I feel really cute in this. Oh my gosh. Okay. And let's see boots. We can do some brown boots. I kind of want to do black boots though, probably. Yeah. There's only two options. And our name is going to be Cassandra. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh. Why is this character really pretty? Okay. Continue. This character is really pretty, you guys. <laughs> that was really fun. I've 
kind of wish that I checked out the um, clothing. I wonder if it looked different on the other body type. Anyways, Cassandra, E to interact, auto whistle, and F for play information. Explore the map and find Madeline Bochamp? 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 Bochamp, who invited you to Rivershine. Ooh, that's little snap to go around. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. Wasn't there a way to open a map? M. M opens a map, and I'm guessing this is Madison Bochamp. I'm just gonna call her Madison. Okay, let's- <gasps> There was an arrow on the ground for me this entire time. This is really cool. Ooh, the walking animation is like what Star Stable used to be, also I believe. Yeah, there's not like walking, it's just jogging. Back in the early days, if you wanted to create aesthetic shots, you had to do like this thing with your camera to be able to look sideways. I don't think I can do it. Anyways. I'm guessing E to interact. Why are these characters so pretty? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, these drawings are so pretty. I've seen them in like all the screenshots and stuff. Literally, I wish I had the talent to draw like this. Such a gorgeous art style. Ah, oh, Cassandra, I'm so pleased to see you here. Please allow me to extend you to you a warm welcome to Rivershine. We've all been eagerly anticipating your arrival, Cassandra. The entire town has been working diligently to restore the ranch for you. Well, everyone who arrived who remains at any rate the past few years have been quite a challenge for our community to say the least however now that you're here and we have our very own champion to represent rivershine once again i'm confident that better days lie ahead of course you're not yet a champion cassandra especially since you arrived here on foot that is right rivershine is like they basically just described it haven't they you know we're here to basically bring rivershine like put rivershine on the map again like in cars the movie anyways <laughs> they wanted to put route 66 or whatever it was what was it i haven't watched that movie in ages anyways yes i need a horse don't i fortunately i've arranged for horse traders to participate in a grand reopening of the auction house today while we don't currently have many horses available i'm sure that i'll be able to offer you a greater variety in the future i'm so excited now it's understandable if the prospect of participating in your first horse at auction is intimidating allow me to explain the process are we like actually gonna be playing in an auction because that would be epic and i don't think i've ever seen that in a horse game like there's quote-unquote auctions but it's like you technically just buy the horse it's kind of fun if you have some competition you know like it would be so annoying if an npc beat you out on a horse that you wanted but like that's just life bro i want that anyways as i present each horse to you, you may either pass or place a bit on it feel free to pass on any horses that don't interest you but once you do someone else will purchase it so uh, it doesn't sound like we're gonna have competition in our bid but like if you pass it it's gone. If you see a horse that catches your eye, be sure to bid on it. It may take a few rounds to win it, but don't worry if you truly want a horse. This sounds so cool. Maybe I've just been living under a rock and like other horse games have like auctioning in them. But anyways, and have the funds for it. I'm confident you'll be able to obtain it. If I may offer you some advice on choosing your first horse, of course you should choose a horse with a coat that you like, but also consider their skill levels, their jump, speed, endurance, and flexibility will all impact their performance. All of these skills can be improved based on a horse's potential. Therefore, if you plan to train your horse, it might be best to purchase one with a high potential, even if their other skills are currently lacking. Don't worry too much about their name either. You can change that later. I'm thrilled to see which horse you would choose, Cassandra. I'll see you in the auction house when you're ready. Okay, so the auction house is just inside. Let's go in here. Hello? Okay, here we have Silly Spirit, uh, pretty low levels. We've got $5,000 and this horse is going for just under 4000 Little chestnut buddy. I do really like this horse, but I kind of want to see what other potentials we have. Like, I really want to buy this horse and name him Red or something because it's literally a horse which looks kind of red. But I feel like we might be able to get better stats maybe okay i'm gonna pass i'm sorry i'm sorry silly spirit black muffin Ooh, the face marking on this horse just speaks to me the potential is a bit higher this time i think potential goes down over time as your horse ages and improve their skills once it's depleted your horse can be you can't be trained any further that's kind of really epic oh my gosh okay i'm gonna hover over these ones and you guys can pause and read them uh if you're interested in them 
just because I don't want to bore you guys, we're probably going to learn more about that either. This horse is actually slightly cheaper. Okay, I think I'm going to beat the cheapest amount on this horse and see what happens. Going once, going twice. Oh, we've got a horse. Okay, that was really tough because I really wanted to like, you know, see if there was more horses, what other horse colors there were. Ah, uh, your horse is a lovely choice, Cassandra. I have no doubt that you will make a formidable pair. Also... What, what, black magic or was it? Um, the potential was like 50%, which I feel like is probably going to be pretty good for early game, but I might just be making stuff up. Now that you have acquired a horse, I recommend visiting our trainer, River. I've informed her that you'll be arriving and she has prepared a lesson for you. You will find River in the outdoor arena just down the hill from the auction house. Oh, and don't forget to lead your horse with you to the arena, Cassandra. I'm already literally loving this game. Oh, look at the tag. It's so pretty. Okay, E to lead. <gasps> literally so cool and it even puts on a separate like halter which is epic okay i wish we didn't run all the time maybe i'm doing something wrong i gotta open me map oh wait no it's there's an arrow on the ground isn't there yeah i'm going the wrong way that's why i can't see it i wish that i could see wait if i click escape controls free camera is left old there's an inventory oh there's even a calendar with c oh <gasps> Mm hmm mm hmm that's what I was looking for so you can only you can't do it when you're running around it appears you can only do it when you're standing still but look how cute we are oh my gosh okay can you like turn off the interface not currently what's on the calendar I can't open it yet that's okay let's just continue following the arrow I like want to say stuff about this game but I also don't want to keep like oh I have to go inside that would make sense I don't want to keep like rambling like I just want to play the game and we'll like i'll talk a bit more about it at the end look how pretty river is oh my gosh well well if it if this isn't river shine's next cross country champion it's nice to meet you cassandra oh and who do you have here with you black muffin i'm sure you'll both go far together i want to change the name um from black muffin maybe just what about muffy or mufty all okay. right Apparently, Muffy is actually the name of a character from Animal Crossing. And Mufti, uh, in Australia, uh, for in certain states, so where I did primary school before I moved, um, when I moved, the state that I moved to actually didn't call it Mufti. But Mufti Day is basically free dress day. So um, I kind of like the word Mufti for free dress day. Like, it was fun. It, like, it spiced up just free dress day. People made fun of my state for calling it Mufti Day. Anyways, that's just going off of Muffin, but anyways, I'm River. I usually work with Madeline. Oh my gosh, Moira, what is going? I think she's chasing a fly. Uh, I usually work with Madeline to help her find and train horses for the auction house, but she asked me to take some time today to prepare a lesson for you and get you acquainted with your new partner. Now let's get you riding. It'll be easy to explain once you're on Black Muffin. Just stand next to your horse and mount when you're ready. <gasps> Our first time riding. If I click F for horse information. Ah, I did not realize you were a stallion. Okay, let's call you Muffin. Maybe I will just call you Muffin. I don't know. Muffin is still a cute name. We are the epitome of health. Uh, yes, mount. Okay, E to mount. Press W to start walking forward. Okay, so I guess... I oh, oh, okay, cool. So that's... I'm still using my mouse to steer. So unfortunately, I can't look at, like, the different angles. Wait, if I click Alt? <gasps> yes, I can look at what the animations look like. They look really cool, actually. This is actually looking epic. I kind of really like... I like the art style of this game. Tap W again to squeeze your... Okay, so we want to go to a trot now. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. This Wait, why can I move my mouse around now instead of... I'm not clicking left alt anymore. <gasps> is it a toggle button and not a press to hold? Maybe that's what it's down. Slow down by tapping S or hold it down to break quickly. Okay, I think I figured that out. Oh, that was a good start, Cassandra. Thank you. Take it easy with the gallop as your horse doesn't have a lot of endurance just yet. It's always better to slow down to a canter before your horse fully runs out of energy but i know how fun it is to go at full speed now let's see if we can take a better look at muffin uh if i click oh my gosh it's a toggle i was doing it wrong i did it it that was it was tutorial i was like what do i do now <laughs> okay use a and d to control oh my gosh i'm like doing it before it even i can read what the instructions oh i'm so sorry river press left alt again to recenter your camera view 
that's probably what I was doing wrong on um, foot. I actually really like that camera control. That's actually really nice. Now that you've learned the basics, I'll add a few jumps in the arena. Don't worry, I'll keep the obstacles small for now. To help Muffin jump well, speed up to throttle faster. Make sure your horse faces the obstacle straight on. And when you're close enough, jump it. Remember that it's easy to prepare for obstacles correctly when you're approaching it slowly. So if Muffin refuses to jump, make sure to take your time when you try it again all right let's give it a try what was i doing i kind of zoned out a little bit sorry i'm sorry i kind of i need to click left oh that's it's just how i roll it's just how i roll okay at a trot approach at a trot and press space when it okay so this is giving me um horses secrets of the ranch jumping mechanics Nice job, Cassandra. If you pay close attention after crossing an obstacle, you will see that your horse is improving their jump skill. Epic. You can train your horse in multiple disciplines. Sorry, this music is getting so repetitive. It's beautiful. It's just too loud. I, I can fix that. I can just turn it down. <laughs> Uh, you can train however your horse will lose energy as you train them and once they run out of energy they can't be trained any further until they rest. Feel free to practice on the other cavalettis in the arena and when you're done training just come see me. <gasps> Epic. Okay so yeah let's do a little bit more jumping I think because I really want to check it out. It's very like low but I would assume that we're going to jump higher jumps in the future. I just feel like obviously we're jumping from a trot so it just feels like the horse doesn't really like jump kind of just glides there's a little bit there i just feel like the back doesn't move but also i'm used to like jumping from like a canter or a gallop in other games so i don't really i don't really know it's looking really fun i really like this it's, it's very smooth it is an extremely smooth game and i feel like for some reason this game has felt different to other horse games that i've seen like coming out you know oh i didn't mean to come over to you but okay this game has just captured me because of like the farming and i think just because it's like being so i just really loved the developer videos i just feel really connected i suppose through those developer videos i don't know it's hard to explain i'm really I'm like actually really bad at explaining stuff but for some reason I'm like really excited about this game not that I'm excited about all the other horse games that I could mention that are hopefully like releasing beta releasing demo releasing in 2023 and everything I don't know there's just something about this game that I'm like so hyped right now for it great training session Cassandra I've already set up a beginner obstacle course on your ranch so if you want to train again you can always do so in your arena or right here in town I think it's also because this game I think just feels like it's bigger right now than what I've seen in other ones like Tales of Rain Ravine we've got our like small little you know course which we've been doing which has been so fun and everything and I've really enjoy tales of rain ravine and doing all of that stuff but it just feels like you know there's not open world or anything even things talking about rival styles horse racing is also just feels really like clicky clicky this feels like a simulation game you know i don't know i don't know <laughs> we still have a lot to chat about but i'm sure you're very excited to get settled on your ranch with muffin before you leave town make sure to stop by the general store i bet george has a little care package to help you get started there might even be a carrot or two for muffin in there talk to you soon cassandra we're about to have a carrot muffin you guys okay let's visit the grocer i think i actually want to dismount okay let's off the lead and if i click old Nah, it, okay, alt still doesn't do the same thing. I can only look around when I'm standing still. I don't know whether that's been looked to change, but um, yeah, that's fine. I just would really like to see a different angle when I'm leading the horse, but that's just like, I am who I am. I don't know. General store. Oh, look at the little chickens. Look at the little roosters. Oh, they're scared of me. Little baby chicks as well. That's really cute. I can't tie you up, can I? I just kind of have to leave you here. Okay. Oh, they open automatically. I feel so cool. Look at how, like, your outfit. Peak style, Mr. George. Welcome in, Cassandra. I'm sure you've had a long day, so I won't keep you for long. I prepared a little care package to help you get settled on your ranch. It includes a few tools for you, but most importantly, some hay, grain, and bedding for muffin. This is so exciting. 
I'm so excited. I don't know why. I'm just really excited. It should be enough to last a few days. After that, you'll be able to gather more forage around your ranch or come by my store if you're missing something to care for your horse. I have a little bit of everything in my store, but nothing too fancy. You'd usually be able to visit my neighbor's stores too, but they've all closed down this spring due to the lack of visitors. So that sounds like it's a demo limitation because this game, once again, is in demo, which by the way, free demo was kind of epic. As I was saying, like, I guess all the other games have free demo and pay demo, but this one, this one is solely, I believe, just free demo for everyone because it's run through Steam compared to, like, Patreon or, or anything, which is kind of epic. Hopefully they'll come back by summer and you'll be able to meet them. Now you should get home and bring Muffin in the stables to take care of them after this eventful day. I wish you both a good evening. Or it might just be a first spring type thing just so it doesn't overwhelm you by being like, oh, by the way, including this town in your ranch, there's like you know neighboring towns as well like it would just be very this arrow thing leads you in the right direction but it also expects you to phase through walls and everything which kind of gives me google maps vibes you know google maps is like what do you mean you can't cross this five lane highway traffic you know i want to lead you i didn't mean to click f help Ah, oh, there we go. I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go around. This little closed. The saddlery is closed. Okay, so we just get to... Should I ride? I kind of like the vibe of, like, leading my horse right now. Actually, no. I'm gonna ride... Muffin! <laughs> I'm going to mount Muffin and get us out of the garden. But I kind of, like... <gasps> look at us leaning back because we're going downhill. <gasps> Well, that's actually epic because I kind of like, you know, want to look around this little sheep over there as we walk over the little bridge. Oh my god, it's so precious. It's so precious. Oh my gosh, look how pretty it is. There's like a little house on stilts over there. <gasps> so cute. Okay, oh, our flexibility is going up. That's what that means. Okay, let's go for a trot. I was holding down W and we're like leaning up when we were going up that hill and we've leaned back into a normal... That's literally so cool. Okay, Rivershine Ranch. Welcome to our ranch, I think. Okay, I want to go at a gallop. Let's see what this gallop is like. Ooh, it's fun and speedy, but our stamina is going all the way down. Okay, we got to cool off, you guys. We can't just like, you know. If we're looking at this horse textures, though, like the fur, I really like the fur texture of this horse. Like it's like, you can see the little fur flakes and stuff and it fits the art style and it's really cute. And like, literally, you cannot tell me that like, the building this building is gorgeous look at the little vines and stuff oh my gosh i could cry okay we've gone into the stable unfortunately the fade to black i wish like i could control that i suppose but you know it's better than some games press f to learn more about your horse oh i've already done that i've already played around a little bit but yes we can do this i can feed my horse hey alfalfa timothy and orchid grass i've learned about alfalfa and timothy from the swam minecraft mod i've never heard of orchid grass but let's give it to you oh <gasps> it's like right there that's actually so cool i wish there was a way to like get rid of the user interface so you could like take pictures or you know just get a good look oh what's this okay and grain we've got oats should i give you oats <gasps> and now it's got both and we can also give you well cucumbers okay have a carrot and I can also brush you with an old brush. <gasps> Do I have to click and hold? No. You're sparkling. This is actually so cool. Okay, sorry. You don't like the legs, of course. A little bit on the face, maybe. I don't know if I have a face brush. Sorry. Okay, not face brush. I wasn't sure if maybe I could be, like, careful. Can I, like, rotate the camera? I don't think I can, so I can't get the other side. And we've also got some muck. So let's put some straw down. That's actually so cool. I wish there was a different angle though, maybe. Just because I feel like so much is going on. I really want to see how pretty it is. But there's like a really big user interface right now. And we can also choose our blankets. That's kind of cool. Sorry, I was trying to say don't ride with a saddle and no blanket, but it just wasn't coming out. So it looks like there's one more bridle that we'll probably unlock in the demo. I am hoping that maybe in the future there will be lots more because I kind of love making outfits. Okay, so we've untacked our horse. See, now we can get a nice angle of like how cute. Look at this cute little stall. I wish that was like first person. That would be fun because I could like get a better angle right now. But look how pretty it is with like the straw on the floor and the elf. No, I gave you orchid orchard grass and your oats <sighs> muffin i almost called you 
two wrong names. Uh, have a good night and I will see you in the morning. Let me go find my home. Visit your home and go to bed to sleep for the night and save your progress. Okay, let's just run through the grass and it looks like our house is over here. It's got a cute little chimney. It's got a cute little chimney. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, there's like a waterfall in the background over there. Literally, if I could live here, I just would not want to ever go anywhere else. So pretty. It's so pretty. A little fireplace. Oh, we've got a little one bedroom. Forget a kitchen who needs her. A dresser. We can change our clothes. So you can change everything from the dresser, actually. So we could, you know, maybe pick an outfit for tomorrow. Maybe we'll change up our outfit for tomorrow. Let's go a bit of maybe... Maybe we'll change it up a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, I kind of like that. kind of want to see what green... Yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, this is our tomorrow outfit. I should have done it in the morning. Can I, like, read? <gasps> we can sit down. We can sit down. Oh my gosh. We can sit down on the chair. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I almost broke the game, but it's okay. Look how comfortable this bed looks. I feel like the mattress... Okay, this mattress looks kind of comfortable. I do not... I'm a bit of a two-pillow type person, and this round pillow just looks like it would be uncomfortable if you were to lie on it. But these blankets look so comfortable. Although, candles and... Like, can I put out the fire? Because it kind of, like... I have a fear of, you know... Okay. And no animation for sleeping. Okay, was the time always up in that corner and I just didn't see it? Anyways, Tuesday, spring two, year one, $1,550. 6 a.m. And it works as, uh, oh, flower fences. Hi, Cassandra. I hope you had a good night's rest because we have a busy day ahead. Why don't you come by my shop and I'll get you set up with a new training course to practice with your horse. You have your first competition to get ready for. Oh my gosh, so much to do. Uh, it works like The Sims, one minute equals one second. But I kind of feel like I want to end... Okay, it looks like it's still a little bit sunrise as well, which is really pretty. Look how just absolutely gorgeous this stable is. Oh my gosh, the vines, literally perfect. Perfection. Also, the paddocks look so pretty as well. Ah, but I kind of, like, I've been filming for like half an hour at this point, even though I feel like we've barely scratched the surface. Oh! Oh! You've made a little bit of a mess. Let's see. Okay, wait. If I enter horse information, if we go here, can I pitchfork? <gasps> and I get to control it. Okay, I just put it under the manure and it automatically takes it to the shovel. To the, sorry, to the barrel. I wish that I could do um, everything. But anyways, that's better than nothing. I'm still holding a pitchfork. It's fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I did not mean to mount you. But I'm riding you bareback because we haven't put your tack on you. I meant to lead you though. I just wanted to lead you a little bit outside. But I think I'm going to leave it here. Definitely let me know if you want to see me play through the rest. Doing competitions and uh, farming. I don't know why, but I'm like so excited to farm. Like, don't come at me. Well, like, there's just something about farming in a little horsey game. Which just makes me so happy, you know. I will leave the link to the Steam page in the description. All you have to do is have the Steam launcher installed. And then you go to the Ranch of river shine whatever it's called <laughs> and download the demo and it'll do the downloady thing and you can play the demo for free i'm really excited to play the rest of this demo and also see how it continues going in terms of like what changes and things like that okay i feel like the roadmap is a good thing to quickly insert here so the demo is what we're playing right now and early access which is again still like in demo still in progress is going to be spring 2023 I'm going to assume this person's probably in the northern hemisphere so that's going to be is that going to be in the next three months or may anyways spring 2023 is going to be horse breeding seasons and weathers <gasps> Trails, villages, and ranch upgrades. Oh my gosh. And the full release is not going to be until 2024. But you can read about all of this stuff here as well. So there is going to be uh, illnesses, hairstyles, tack, outfits, behavior, personality, foal training, wild horses, even more trails and villages and a full storyline as well. And also Cozy Bee Games, who is the person who has developed this, has also responded to some people in the comment section with some questions. So I definitely recommend just, you 
know, clicking around on the Steam page and reading all of this information for yourself. Don't just listen to me. This game is going to be epic. I don't know. I'm really excited for it, but I'm excited for a lot of horse games, like not to discriminate against any of the other horse games. I'm really excited for it all. It's kind of epic that we're getting like so much horse games now, like younger me could never. The horse games that I grew up with was literally Girl Go games where you click to find the hidden key to escape the stable. So <laughs> I feel like the graphic style of this game is like super pretty. The environment is gorgeous. I don't know how much the developer plans on working more. I feel like the animations still feel a little bit clunky to me, but I'm also not an animator and I completely recognize that this is just such an amazing game and it's already like the animation just so much better than what I could ever achieve. I just, I know it's really quick to just flip around when you go like that, when I face backwards and do this, but it just feels kind of clunky in a way. It's also, I just have to get used to playing a new game with new settings and then, you know, you slowly aren't as clunky with it. I've literally played this game for half an hour. It would show completely differently when you've played it for 15 hours, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I don't really know if you guys care about my opinions of the game. If you like this video and you like the look of this game, then on the screen right now is actually going to be one of my videos on Emerald Valley Ranch, Horse Tales Emerald Valley Ranch, which is like kind of similar, like, you know, it's a horse game <laughs> and it also has really cool graphics it's kind of cartoony like this one as well and i've been really enjoying that playthrough they have foals and things like that so if you haven't watched the video on the screen already then it might interest you thank you guys so much for your continuous support i really appreciate it bye